And under the personal care tab, you will be identifying the personal needs of the residents and indicating what steps will be taken, if any, to meet those needs. There is a list of ADLs and instrumental ADLs to choose from. Check the, check the box to the left of the option that pertains to the resident. Once you check the box, a drop down will appear with the degree of need. So for an example, we'll just choose eating. And here is the degree of need. And after selecting an ADL, the degree of need appears and gives you options to choose from. If you indicate the resident is either independent or that this area is NA, WebPCH logically supplies the following responses to speed completion of the RASP up. Also, let's assume the resident requires some prompting and cueing to drink fluids. So then, another drop-down will appear, and you will need to choose the description of service need, the plan to meet service need, the frequency, and responsible party. The above categories will apply consistently to each service need you identify. In other words, they apply when you select an option other than independent or NA. And remember, you always have the option to select other and enter your own free text to describe the resident's needs and or service plans.